Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an ex. Super happy to get into One Piece episode 988. It should be a absolutely fun time. Uh, you know, we're going into hopefully more action-packed sequences where we get more characters doing more things. Because for the last couple episodes, it's been more that Luffy, Zoro, kid thing. I mean, Killer 2. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like the pacing of it was a bit slow and awkward compared to how they have been doing things with these episodes that are more fillery. You know, where they add more things that are not in the manga. And they're not bad necessarily all the time. Sometimes I think they're a bit extra. But they're not bad. I mean, dude, watching that one dude fold like a carrot was hilarious. Or whatever, like a cordy, whatever. It just looked like a carrot being planted to me. Or pulled out in reverse. Anyway, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. If you are enjoying One Piece, you know, do the right thing. Try to support them in any way you can. Get you a Crunchyroll thing and watch it on there. Uh, buy the DVDs, buy the manga. Ichira Oda, the Goat of the God, is a genius. And without him, we wouldn't have this 20 plus long year series of amazingness that just keeps giving and keeps getting good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into this episode. But, you know, uh, if you're enjoying, remember to hit the like button. And if you're not, well, maybe comment down below and let me know what I can do to be a better reactor. Or maybe just tell me I'm ugly, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and get started on episode 988. I'm excited to see how the Toby Ropo and everybody else reacts. Hopefully you are as well. And, uh, yeah. Is this where they talk shit to each other? <laughs> I I love that they literally press their faces together. See, his fist looks way better in that shot, particular in my mind. Like the shading on it looked pretty cool. Oh man, poor Sean G. I love watching Topper in the tank. <laughs> and I don't know. Aw. <laughs> of course, that's what he cares about, right? I guess lighter is gold now. Was it always gold? Why does he get this like three frame fr freeze? What the hell? That's, it's way too epic. All oh, right, I remember this. Poor Nami. What about uh, him? He can't dive in the water. Yeah. Smart. Oh, yeah, they can't dive in the water. <laughs> and here comes Big Mom Pirates. Or is this, uh... Ooh, I remember it's, it's M. No, it is Big Mom, okay. There, bank. No, there, we'll get there when we see him. I don't want to ruin it, so I just say that, but people who know, know. I thought that guy got bodied when they were fighting the Germa. The, the fiery hair dude in the back. Can't remember who he fought and got beat up by. Yes, sir, Mr. Rub Rub. She is such a little f mm. She's a clout chaser. Okay, it did. I thought he did. I swore. He's a, he's a first, uh, he's a first commander. It ain't gonna be that easy. 
This should essentially be the same as facing King. If not worse. Again. Yeah, she is big, bro. She's almost, you know, up to Kaido's size while he's sitting. That's huge. And I mean, we knew, but god damn. Just a couple more episodes. I'm not gonna lie, he, he, he did some good spy work. It's just, you bitch. Yeah. He's also never been here. It would have been cooler if they showed that red. Some drip red, at least. Yeah. He tried, though, man. I'll give him props for trying. Oh, man, here come law. See, and this is the way to do this one, where the classic One Piece switch, 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 right? Where you're just moving the story, and you never really commit. Although, once again, that's actually still worse in the, the anime than it is in the manga. The manga still happens, but it's better flowing. Damn, them some real whirlpools. See, now I believe this is one that they didn't really address, and I like that they're going over a little bit how there are these rapids and whirlpools, and it wouldn't have been just so easy for them to like make it through even in the um, sub necessarily because you can have underwater currents. I like that they're showing it turn into the uh, the person who's calling. I like Kabo Matsi. This was a bit extra on that scene, but I liked it because it shows the dynamics of their, like, group. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly cut a hole in the wall. How is that gonna? That gotta go through like eight walls. He he cut through that like half a mm, cliff with that last time, and it wasn't a two-handed stroke. Whoops! Like that would have just cut down all the guys on the other side of that wall. You know what I mean? They'd all be, you know, like. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Ulti is a fucking mood, bro. Straight. Headbutt. <laughs> She's so irreverent. Just did. I keep trying, man. Oh, damn! It's black now. I like the color. They just the, the effects they choose for the hockey. Just the evolution of it has been so hilarious to me. And y'all really think that's you? He really looks like Roger there when that scene where he was standing. Everyone was rushing him. He super looked like Roger. Oh man, that was a cool ending scene there. Like the the transition up with the the hockey or whatever or the Ryu. Ah, uh, that wasn't bad. I, it flew by, so it definitely wasn't a, a badly paced episode. Like, or maybe I'm just like starving for more One Piece. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty good. There was a lot going on. <clears throat> 
in the sense that we're back to the One Piece typical, which is everyone everywhere, right? That is such a very One Piece thing to do is split the group, have the fights be kind of separate. And that's one thing I've always really liked, but I've always really wondered what if Oda did more combo stuff, kind of like how he had done with Usopp and Chopper back in Alabasta. I, I kind of want to see some more of that. I really like it when the Straw Hats work together. Don't get me wrong, like things like Water 7 in East Lobby and even Alabasta itself in a way where they had, you know, still paired off, right? Where it was not this big team group fight interconnecting and, and doing stuff kind of... I guess the difference between like One Piece and that one scene in like the Avengers or even the new whatever Justice League where they're all in the same scene fighting and like someone's got your back and someone's got my back and we're both teaming up on this thing, right? And uh, I always wonder how that would go in One Piece or how it would look and how it would be written. Just one of my thoughts. But yeah, I really enjoyed this and we're getting to some good episodes soon, some satisfying episodes but we'll see how it all goes because as you know there is much more coming i mean there's a whole i believe another arc after wano that's going to be coming through like uh, some people think it's not going to be that much but i think in order to finish the series correctly it's going to have to be pretty epic at this end chapter not even just in sense of tone but in length uh it's gonna take time to wrap up these threads and i'm sure he won't wrap up every thread like the point is to keep some threads a little open and mysterious and to have fun with them but there are so many that he's left open needing to be answered for the series to be feeling concluded for example like you could technically end the story and get to the maybe the island or something without necessarily figuring out what the will of will of d was and that would be so annoying. I mean, I, obviously, maybe you couldn't because there there is this heavy time connection. But I feel like there is definitely a way to write it where, like, the Will of D is just, like, this mysterious thing that you never really figure out. But they still get to the island and do some other mysterious figurings out. But once again, there's so much going on that there's so much to be wrapped up. I'm so excited to see it keep pulling forward. And I hope you guys are as well. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, as always, support the original content creator. Because Ichira Oda, the Goat of the God, is amazing and uh we should definitely support him and all this great content he makes and if uh, you liked watching with me you know maybe hit the like button subscribe to see more episodes or hit the bell for notifications and uh, if you didn't like it or maybe you just want to talk about it comment below and tell me what i could do better or you know what you thought of the episode how you're enjoying one piece you know i i really like one piece so i'm always willing to talk about basically any part of it from the beginning to today so uh you can do that by either hitting the comments below checking out our patreon where you can see this episode you know early access you know no cuts no video weird overlay things just my fat head in the corner uh and you know you can do that for as low as a dollar a month but it's up to you so uh thank you guys for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate you regardless of anything else and i hope to see you next time on reactions with an x one piece <laughs>